folks, so this is the first uh, big, well, biggish road trip. We're off to Malham in uh, North Yorkshire, um, and it's going to involve one charge. So I'm going to try and sort of document bits and pieces of the, uh, the journey to give you an idea of what it's like for somebody who's effectively new to electric cars. I've only actually charged the car um, on my home charger, um, and that's about it. I've never used a public charger before, so... It's all going to be new. Um, we've got one charger I've picked um, to use with a backup charger in case that one's busy or has got a problem. And hopefully we can use um, the Electroverse card. So let's uh, get on with the journey, get down there and uh, see how we get on. I shall catch you all in a bit. So sorry about the audio quality folks. Um, but I just wanted to do a little sort of uh, talk. I'm just using the GoPro's in built mic. Uh, I should have put the mic in. But uh, we're trying something new on the Cooper board today, which uh, I only activated because I, I couldn't get it working initially, called Travel Assist. Now, Travel Assist is semi-autonomous driving. And I've never used it before, and I've read about how it works. And essentially, I just have to lightly keep my hands on the steering wheel. Um, you know, be ready to take over, but essentially the car is driving itself. It's able to brake if the car would slow down. It knows what's around it using the car's radar. Um, and it's actually following the road markings on the road. And it actually does steer itself. As I say, I am keeping my hands on the steering wheel, so I am driving uh, properly. Um, I'm ready to take over at a moment's notice, but it is quite unnerving in a way quite how accurate it is at driving the car. So there you go, um, just a little update part way through the journey, we've got about 80 miles to go um, and probably about another hour and a half and we'll be ready to charge up. So we'll see you all um, when we get there. Hey folks, so hope you enjoyed a little uh, summary of the journey then. We've made it to the first um, charger. Um, pretty straightforward, I was able to plug the connector straight in. Um, and I swiped my Electroverse card. It didn't scan it the first time and it rejected it. Then I scanned it again and it seems to work. So we'll see when I get the bill, um, which appears on my energy account, my Octopus Energy account. Um, but it's been a good journey here. Um, the charger's charging at about 50 kilowatts, which is fine. Um, it's going to take about 30 minutes of charge to get up to about 85-90%, so I've got enough to get to the destination. Um, but so far, straightforward. So I need to go off and uh, get a drink and some food um, while it's uh, charging, and then I'll head off to uh, final destination and enjoy some photography. So um, first charging experience is okay. It was a bit nervous actually getting there, but the car's done good range, 4.5 um, 
kilowatt hours um, per mile, I think it was. Or was it 4.5 miles per kilowatt? Sorry, 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which is really good range, actually. It's uh, done better than I thought, and I had the car in range mode. Um, but I still had a little bit of fun on the twisties, so even with that, it's been absolutely fine. Um, the automated driving was interesting. It's done really well. Uh, if you take your hands off the steering wheel, to, or, well, not take your hands off the steering wheel, but if you have them on too lightly, which I did for a moment, it actually warns you. So it's not full autonomous driving. So there you go, my first charging experience. Um, not bad. Um, it's quite an expensive charge of this though, so it's going to cost about 15 quid to charge the car up about 30%. Hey folks, so as you can see, we're pretty much fully charged. Um, and it seems to have been a successful charge and really straightforward. So I've just got to work out how to unplug and then we'll be on our way. So great stuff. Good first experience. Catch you later, folks. Bye.